Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. If you have any testimony, please move to the entrance beside the choir and document your testimony. Let us rise up on our feet as we begin to exalt the name of the Lord. Begin to give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all adoration. Begin to magnify his holy name. Begin to glorify his majesty. Thank him for his goodness upon your life. Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his love. Thank him for diverse miracles in your life as individuals. And in this commission, begin to give him all the glory. Begin to give him all the honor. Give him all adoration. Magnify his holy name. Begin to speak to him right now concerning your heart desire. Begin to talk to him. If there is a mouth that can pray, there is a God that can answer. He said, ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened. Speak to him right now. Our God is more than able to make everything your, that you want to come into place. Begin to speak to him right now. Concerning the communion service, speak to him. What you want from the communion table, speak to him right now. Begin to talk to him. This God will be healing sicknesses. There will be deliverance from the communion table. Begin to speak to him right now. Graves will be destroyed. Chains will be broken. Begin to speak to him right now. As you speak to him, power your prayer in tongues and power it in the Holy Ghost. Maleka tali brigandania. Resundele brika susha tali abanani. Raka taliada. Marika susha daliada. Renka tuni nimbreke tolia baraka. Anko kori bare linsin kataliado. Rasundelia, Marika Susha Daliada, Rekotole, Brika Tayabanoni, Asusi Adamane, Lenka Reka Tayabano, Rankotolia, Resundele Breka Dani, Ake Korea, Pacoria Daneli, Resuta Le Breka Dalia. Begin to speak to him right now concerning the world this evening. Your word of life will locate you. The word that will set you on covenant highway of life, begin to speak to him right now. The word of life, the war that will catapult you into the next level, begin to speak to him now. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Please put your hands together for Jesus as we welcome the praise team. Thank you. 
Father, for Jesus.
Please put those glorious hands together and take your seat. We shall be starting our prayers this evening on this note of thanksgiving. We're saying, Father, thank you for drafting great multitudes to our services last Sunday and breaking every invisible barrier in the life of every worshiper. Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 7. Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain. That's what he did for every one of us on Sunday. Can we rise and begin to give that thanksgiving? Father, thank you for drafting great multitudes to our services last Sunday and breaking every invisible barrier in the life of every worshiper. Lord, you brought them in their multitudes, their thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. And Lord, you met everyone at the point of their need, breaking invisible barriers, everlasting mountains, perpetual hills, Lord. Father, they were broken, they were scattered, Lord. Age-old infirmities, Lord God, were destroyed. Father, we have come to say thank you, Lord. You are the bringer of the people, Lord. You raise an ensign to them, you ease unto them. Lord God, you brought them in their numbers, Lord, to your own tabernacle. And you minister to their needs, Lord. Lord God, dissolving invisible barriers, Lord. Removing them completely, Lord. Age-old affliction, Lord God, healing them. 12 years, 18 years, Lord. 40 years affliction, Lord God, putting them to an end. Father, we have come to thank you. You changed your people's story, Lord. Everyone coming, no one went back the same, Lord, by your mighty hand. Father, we have come to give you praise. We have come to thank you, to express our appreciation that only your hands, Lord, have done these things. Let's give him praise. Let's give him glory. Let's magnify his holy name. He brought the people and he met their needs. Father, we thank you, Lord. Our age, all barriers were broken. Invisible barriers, everlasting mountains, Perpetual hills, they were dissolved by the mighty power of God through the power of the word. Let's give him praise. Let's give him thanks. Let's show him appreciation. Father, we thank you. Father, we are grateful, Lord, for your mighty hand at work, Lord. You brought the people and you met them at the point of their need. Age all barriers, Lord God, were removed. Every invisible one, Lord. Every God of the land in the life of their people operative, Lord. Jesus, they were dealt with. Thank you, Father. Your mighty hand executed judgment, Lord. On restraint, you made a quick work, Lord. A short work, Lord, of these things in the life of your people. Father, we have come to give you praise. We have come to give you thanks. We have come to magnify your name. Is God hearing your voice? Is God hearing your voice? Are you showing appreciation? Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, Lord God. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Your mighty hands, Lord God, wrote these things. You brought the people, Lord God, you met their needs, Lord. Dissolving invisible barriers in their lives, Lord. Father, declaring doors open, Lord. Doors which have been locked for ages, Lord. By your mighty word, Lord God, you caused your people to come into liberty. Thank you, Father. We have come to give you praise. We have come to thank you, thanks, Lord. Father, Lord God, every age old barrier. Who art thou, O great mountain? We acknowledge their statistics, but despise their pretensions. Lord God, they were all removed, or protected from the root, Lord, by your mighty hand. To you be praised, to you be glory. Blessed be your holy name. Is God hearing you? Is God hearing your voice? Are you talking to him? Father, we thank you. Father, we exalt your name. You can give thanks in your understanding. Do it also in the spirit. Masan Tarababaku. Lembokori Mashada, Kantanda Sili de Bakuria, Heria Mama Mashiri Bokora, Ramasini Kama, Hintanda la Babakuri Basharia, Reimo Momo Hindara Babakiria. Father, we thank you, Lord. You brought the people, you met everyone at the point of their need. Lord God, you dissolve invisible barriers, you remove them, you uprooted them, Lord. Thank you, Father. Only your mighty hand could do this thing. And that's why we have come to give you praise. We have come to give you glory. We magnify your name now. Wave your hands in appreciation. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we've given thanks. Please put your hands together. Take your seat. (laughs) 
Shortly we'll be rising up again as we pray in this manner. Father, by the, by the blood, destroy all interferences of the devil against the continuous growth of this church. A louder amen. amen. Revelation 12, verse 11. And they overcame me by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Please let's rise. Together let's pray. Father, by the blood, destroy all interferences of the devil against the continuous growth of this church. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, destroy all interferences of the devil against the continuous growth of this church. Lift up your voice and let the Lord hear you tonight. Let's pray with the whole of our heart connected. Jesus, by your blood, will destroy all interferences of the devil against the continuous growth of this church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it be our God and our King by the blood of the everlasting covenant we destroy all interferences of the devil against the continuous growth of this church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God of heaven, we lift up our voice as one man tonight by the blood of the everlasting covenant we destroy all interferences of the devil against the continuous growth of this church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let it be our God and our King that every interference of the devil is destroyed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every interference of the devil against the continuous growth of this church tonight will destroy it by the blood of the Lamb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying with the whole of your heart tonight? Is the Lord hearing your voice? Is the Lord hearing your voice? Let's pray with all intensity tonight. Jesus, by the blood of the Lamb, will destroy all interferences of the devil against the continuous growth of this church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood against all interferences of the devil array against the continuous growth of this church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it be, O Lord God. Let it be, O Lord God. Every plan of the wicked one Targeting the continuous growth of this on Lord tonight, we decree he destroy. We decree destroy. We decree destroy. Engaging the blood that can never fail. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray with the whole of your heart tonight. Let the Lord hear your voice. Pray with all intensity tonight. Father, by the blood, we destroy all interferences of the devil against the continuous growth of this church. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every plan of the wicked one, every plan of the wicked one, we destroy tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, by the blood, destroy all interferences of the devil against the continuous growth of this church. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let it be, O Lord God, that every interference of the devil against the continuous growth of this church Tonight we destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Lord hear your voice. Pray with all intensity tonight. Father, by the blood, destroy all interferences of the devil against the continuous growth of this church in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no plan of the wicked that can stop the continuous growth of this church in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray with the whole of your heart tonight. Let the Lord hear your voice and give you all fervency. Engage with all vacancy. Father, by the blood, destroy all interferences of the devil against the continuous growth of this church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord hear your voice tonight. Let's pray with the whole of our heart. Jesus, by your blood that can never fail, destroy all interferences of the devil against the continuous growth of this church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, ensuring that the growth of this church never stop. In the name of Jesus, let it be our God and our King that by the blood of the everlasting covenant, destroy tonight all interferences of the devil against the continuous growth of this church. Father, we give you praise. Glory and honor to your holy name. In Jesus' great name, we have prayed. Please put those hands together for Jesus and be seated. In a moment, we shall be rising to pray. And this time we're saying, Father, 
let there be fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing multitudes to gather into our services all through this season of glory. Say louder, amen. amen. Acts 13 and verse 44, the next Sabbath day came almost all the whole city to hear the word of the Lord. Shall we rise on our feet and lift our voices as we pray? Father, let there be fresh revelations from our altars, thereby causing the multitudes to gather into our services all through this season of glory. Lift your voice and pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. You are praying full of faith. You are praying full of confidence. You are calling upon the name of the Lord, our Father and our God. Let there be fresh revelations, fresh revelations, fresh revelations, fresh revelations from all of our altars, causing multitudes to gather from every nook and every cranny, causing them to rush in from every street and every lane, causing them to come in from every community and locality. We are asking for fresh outpouring of revelation. Lord, upon our altars, let there be insight in a new dimension. Let there be a revelation of a new order. Lift your voice and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray with faith and confidence in God. For where the carcass is, the eagles will be gathered. Our Father and our God, we are asking of you tonight that you will bring fresh revelations upon our altar. Let light begin to break forth in a new dimension. Let there be outburst of revelation upon every one of our altars causing multitudes to be gathered into all of our services all through this season of glory. Lift your voice and pray. Pray passionately. Pray fervently. Pray wholeheartedly. Engage your faith. Engage your heart as you are calling upon the name of the Lord. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, let there be fresh revelations, outbreak of light upon our altars. Let, O oh Lord, new levels of light begin to break forth. New levels of insight begin to break forth. New dimensions of revelation begin to break forth from every one of our altars, causing, O oh Lord, the ingathering of multitudes into our services all through this season of glory. Lift your voice and pray passionately. Pray wholeheartedly. Engage your faith. Engage your heart as you are calling upon the name of the Lord. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, let there be fresh release of revelation. Let insight begin to break forth in new dimensions upon every one of our altars. Lord, causing multitudes to be gathered into our services all through this season of glory. Are you praying? Let God hear the voice of your intercession. You are praying in faith. You are praying with confidence. You are calling upon the name of the Lord. For all nations will flow into Zion. For out of Zion will proceed the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Our Father and our God, we are asking, oh God, for new dimension of light to break forth. New dimension of revelation to break forth. New levels of insight to break forth from every one of our altars causing multitudes to be gathered into our services all through this season of glory. Are you praying tonight? You can pray in the language of the Spirit, engaging your heart, engaging your faith as you are calling upon the name of the Lord. Liko sefeketoma mangalabarade brako shiketo praketo sakata embakako kepokaba labrade ketoka paka shabra kento sabala labakako ke kopana katale lembran ketoshia kakalo benia mambaraba katalade sofredia kanto shebelia bada embran ketosia katala lebrakote penke nandalade kenkro di ketoshia mangalade prodiaba oh my father my god let there be fresh revelations upon all of our altars causing multitudes to be gathered, multitudes to be gathered into our services all through this season of glory. Lift your hand, lift your voice, give glory to God. Father, thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Give Jesus a big hand and please be seated.
Please listen to the faith tabernacle announcement for this service. Number one, praise the Lord. Be reminded that we are in the midst of the year prophetic season. Daily prayer and gospel raids holds throughout this season. Note that the daily prayers holds in designated zones across Lagos and Ota. Times are 8 to 9.30 a.m. and 5 to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, except on Wednesday. Why this is open to all members who desire to be part of this intercessory army, it is an essential platform to ensure that all our senior citizens, the aged, nursing mothers, and those on the line for miracle jobs, or challenge individuals who may not be in a position to get out in pursuit of, in pursuit after souls, partake of this kingdom advancement endeavor. Remember, there's a place for everyone in a revival. Your place shall not be taken in this revival. Your amen can be more affirmative. Number two, praise the Lord. There's no doubt that we are all being visited by God in this season. Therefore, send your testimonies to testimonies at davidoedicalministries.com or testimonies at lfcww.org. Number three, covenant our prayer continues tomorrow, Thursday to Saturday, both here in Kinaland and in all our designated locations across Lagos and Ota. Time is 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. Number four, good news. Water baptism hosts this coming Saturday. At all our facilities across Lagos and Ota, where we have baptistries, all, both young and old, who are here to be baptized in water by immersion, since they believed, are admonished to partake of this vital kingdom requirement. Remember to come with a change of remit. Time is 7.30 a.m. Number five, Winner's Satellite Fellowship. Our house-to-house -house fellowship holds on Saturday at our WSF centers across Lagos and Lota. Remember that we shall be praying for one another, inviting neighbor to partake of this fellowship time. Don't miss this for anything. Time is 5 to 6 p.m. Number six, praise the Lord. Next Sunday at Faith Tabernacle shall be our covenant day of all-round rest. It shall also double as our special monthly communion service. Come expecting an encounter with a prophetic word and the mystery of the communion. It shall be a service to be much remembered. Come along with your converts, invitees, and other loved ones. We shall all be holding, we shall be holding for services. Times 6 a.m., 7.55 a.m., 9.50 a.m., and 11.45 a.m. Jesus is Lord. It is testimony time. Be blessed as we listen to the following documented testimonies. Number one, pleasant surprises via kingdom practice. I usually sowed transport seed every Saturday at my former zone to ensure souls came to church. After just a few months of consistent kingdom practice, a family member of mine called me to tell me that his friend wanted to buy a car for his sister. So I should look for a very good car. I searched and found a clean one for 2.1 million naira. And he sent the money and I paid for it. He then told me to process all the papers and pack the car in my compound for his friend's sister. The following morning, he called me on a video call to show me to show him, rather, the car I bought. He then told me that he bought the car for me. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he also gave me an additional one million naira cash gift. I told my younger sister to start paying for the transportation of members at her zone. And in less than four months, she also bought a car. 
I'm sharing this testimony to others so that others can know that there are a lot of blessings in transporting challenged worshippers to church. To God be all the glory. If you are clapping, let's clap for Jesus. And the testifier is Sister Esther. Number two, all round rest via kingdom advancement. I thank God for sending his breakthrough word of Matthew 6.33 to me in the year 2021-2022. All through 2022, I and my family engaged actively in kingdom advancement activities. We attended covenant of prayer, praying for the kingdom and forgetting our personal prayers. We went on personal outreaches for the first time after being saved for many years. We also prayed for those on the go for Christ. We turned our home to our WSF center. We ensured we never went for service in Canaan land without taking along a new member or a new convert. Today, I testify that from then on up till now, we have enjoyed divine health. All through 2022, we had no cause to visit the hospital. We stopped taking drugs. Whenever our bodies react to cold, we take communion and it disappears. Hallelujah. That same year, God gave us a male child, which we desired for long. My business experienced quantum leap of almost 300% in revenue compared to previous years. God also gave us a new home in our choice location, which we turned to WF Center. Our marriage is fully restored, and we are growing in the world. I just want to thank and appreciate this God for being true to his word and for showing us the light and causing us to remain in the light. To God alone be all the glory. The testifier is Fika Oluwalonimi. Praise the Lord. Next one, rise. We shall pray in this manner saying, Father, ignite new order of passion. For kingdom advancement endeavors in the life of every winner. Haggai chapter 1 and verse 14. And the Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel and the spirit of Joshua and the spirit of the, all the remnant of the people. And they came and did walk in the house of the Lord. Please let's rise as we engage tonight saying, Father, ignite new order of passion for kingdom advancement endeavors in the life of every winner. Lift up your voice. Pray this prayer with passion tonight to our Father and our God. We are asking in the name of Jesus Christ that you ignite new order of passion, new order of zeal for kingdom advancement endeavors in the life of every single winner. Someone is praying tonight. Ensure your heart is connected. Ensure your faith is alive. Our Father and our God, we are asking in the name of Jesus Christ that you ignite a new order of passion, that you stir up a new order of zeal for kingdom advancement and divorce in the life of every winner. Fresh fashion, fresh passion, fresh passion in the hearts of every winner for kingdom advancement engagement. Someone lift up your voice tonight. Engage with fervency. We are calling forth a new order of passion concerning every winner in kingdom advancement engagement. Our Father, stay up afresh in the hearts of every winner. New order of passion, unusual order of zeal in the hearts of every winner for kingdom advancement engagement all through this prophetic season and even beyond. Someone is praying tonight. Lift up your voice. Cry out to God tonight to stir up fresh zeal in the hearts of every winner, fresh passion in the hearts of every winner for kingdom advancement and engagement all through this prophetic season and even beyond in the name of Jesus Christ, our Father, stir up new zeal, unquenchable zeal, unquenchable passion in the heart of every winner. Let it be like fire shot up in the bones of every winner for kingdom advancement engagement in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone lift up your voice tonight and show you are praying, you are engaging 
the fervency of your spirit tonight, uh, crying out uh, for a fresh release uh, of new order of passion for kingdom advancement engagement in the life of every winner. Pray this evening, lift up your voice uh, for every winner, young and old, uh, male and female, fresh passion. Fresh passion, unusual zeal, unquenchable fire in the hearts of every winner for kingdom advancement engagement in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying, engage your heart tonight. This prayer covers you as well as every single winner. Our Father, fresh passion, fresh passion, unquenchable zeal, unstoppable drive for kingdom advancement engagement in the life of every winner on the prayer altar, on the go all across our entire harvest field in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let's begin to thank him. Let's appreciate him. Fresh passion is released upon every winner. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. Please give the Lord a big hand and you may be seated. Next, we'll be praying this way. We're saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, open the heart of every contact on the harvest field to the gospel, thereby leading many to Christ. You love that, amen. Acts chapter 16 at verse 14. And a certain woman named Lydia, who heard us, whose heart the Lord opened, that she attended to the things which were spoken of Paul. Please rise with me tonight as we place this demand. Father, in the name of Jesus, Open the heart of every contact on the harvest field to the gospel, thereby leading many to Christ. Our Father, tonight, we ask that you open the hearts of every contact, male and female, young and old, on the harvest field to the gospel. Every one contact that we meet on the harvest field, our Father, tonight, we demand that you open their hearts the way you open the heart of Lydia, open their hearts. You open the heart of the deputy also. Father, open their heart to the gospel. Father, tonight we demand that every veil of covering over their hearts be torn asunder. Even tonight, whatever veil it is, veil of unbelief, veil of tradition, be torn tonight and open their hearts to the gospel. Every heart of the contact on the harvest field Father, tonight we demand that they be open to the gospel, thereby leading many to Christ in the name of Jesus. You have done it before. You have opened the hearts of multitudes, individuals, families, whole communities to the gospel. Even in our days, our Father, tonight we demand that you open the heart of every contact on the harvest field to the gospel thereby lead the many to Christ. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, our Father, open the heart of every contact we meet on the harvest field to the gospel, thereby lead the many to Christ. Let none heart be hardened. Open every heart. Cause the veil to be torn open. You tore the veil of the temple and access was given. Father, open the hearts Tear the veil of tradition. Tear the veil of religion. Tear the veil of occultism. Father, open the hearts of every contact on the harvest field to the gospel. Thereby lead the many to Christ in the name of Jesus. You open the heart of the jailer to the gospel. And Father, he and his household became born again. Again tonight, we ask in the name of Jesus, Father, open the heart of every contact on the harvest field to the gospel, thereby leading many to Christ in the name of Jesus. Open their hearts. Let every hardness of heart be dissolved. Let every veil be torn. Father, open their hearts to the gospel of every contact that we meet at the harvest field. Open their hearts to the gospel. Father, the way you open the hearts of the neighbors and the near friends of Cornelius, open the hearts of every contact on the harvest field to the gospel. Let no one reject the gospel. Let no one 
turn down the gospel. Open their heart even tonight to the gospel of every contact. Everyone will meet on the harvest field. Open their hearts tonight. We declare that every hardness of heart be dissolved in the name of Jesus. Father, open the hearts of every contact on the harvest field to the gospel. We demand that their hearts be open so that they be led to Christ in the name of Jesus. We demand and insist that their hearts be open tonight. Let every veil be torn and every hardness be dissolved. Father, thank you for hearing us. Lift up your hands, wave them to heaven. Father, we are grateful for in Jesus' holy name we have prayed. Hands together for Jesus and please be seated. Next, we'll be rising up tonight to pray, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, draft record-breaking multitudes into our services this coming Sunday, granting all-round rest to every worshiper by your word. Second Chronicles chapter 15 at verse 15, and all Judah rejoiced at the oath and sought him with their whole desire, and he was found of them, and the Lord Give them rest round about. Join me, rise on your feet tonight as we pray concerning this coming Sunday. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, draft record-breaking multitudes into our services this coming Sunday, granting all round rest to every worshiper. Somebody raise your voice tonight as we insist, as we persist, as we say, this is our desire. Lord, we are asking in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth that this Sunday will be a homecoming of multitudes from all parts of the city, from all neighborhoods, from Lagos, Ota, and this virus. They are rushing in this Sunday. And we are asking not for the old order, but for a new order, record-breaking, multitude somebody lift up your voice everything we ask that is according to his will he is capable he is able he is willing he is ready to deliver therefore lift up your voices lord this sunday we are asking for record breaking multitudes to be gathered into our four services to the overflowing order what eyes have not seen what ears have not heard lord we are asking that it takes place this sunday in this season of glory in the name of the lord jesus christ and as the multitude come lord grant everyone a package of all round rest in the name of the lord jesus christ lift up your voices tonight as we pray Lord, as they gather from all parts of the city, from all neighborhoods, Lord, we are asking that everyone will return back home with a package of all round rest, a package of rest in every department, a package of rest in every area. Somebody lift up your voices. If you know you have been praying for souls, you will pray louder. If you know you have been reaching out to souls, you will pray louder. Lord, we are asking in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be a visitation of the order of Pentecost that they are gathered from everywhere, that they are gathered from every neighborhood. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, come Sunday morning, let there be an alarm from Ota, from Lagos, from every location, from every street, from every corner, an alarm that no one can shut off, an alarm that gathers them in. Let it be that there is a hissing, there is a gathering. They are saying, hissing. They are saying, gathering. Lord, they are coming from everywhere. They are coming by foot. They are coming by road. They are coming by sea. They are coming by keke. They are coming by every means in private vehicles. Lord, in buses. Lord, they are coming. They are coming. They are coming. A new order of record-breaking multitudes. And Lord, as they gather in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let 
packages of all our rest be delivered of of all our rest be delivered to every worshiper in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ all round rest the Lord said they gave them rest round about that's what we are looking forward to this Sunday is Sunday of all our rest for every worshiper in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you can pray the Holy Ghost right now from everywhere le peke tebara esus kata rata palaki andono si alara ha le tendea e kondono si abalabaya etus kata lift your hands and let's exalt him father we honor you we give you all the praise and all the glory it is done in jesus mighty name give the lord a big hand and please be seated Next, we shall be going before the Lord in the session of personal supplication. Praise God. We have the opportunity to take unto God all our desires and prayers. And please be reminded to make the matters of the kingdom a priority, especially in this ongoing operation. We shall be taking our anchor scripture from Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3 as we pray. Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. The Bible says, call unto me. And I will answer thee. Not I may, but I will. Say me, God will answer me. Say confidently. Shout the loud amen. amen. But since I won't stop there, I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. With this understanding, please rise upon your feet or take any position that you know will help you to maximize this moment. But by all means, take advantage right now. Don't be silent. Don't be quiet. It says, come. And I will answer. We have a responsibility to call. And then God has assured us he will answer. As we call tonight, God will answer. He will also show us that which we know not. Take advantage, therefore, and speak unto God right now. Concerning your targets, your converts, your contact, what you are looking up to God for throughout this season, personal issues of your life, whatever they may be, Take steps right now and call. Someone is praying tonight. Make sure you are calling, but call in faith. Call engaging your heart. Call knowing fully well. We are speaking and praying to a prayer answering God. God is here for you and I, but it's our duty to call before he can answer. And remain sensitive as you call because it says he will show us things to come. Jesus. 
say, Jesus. Someone is praying, praying faith, engage your heart. Don't be quiet. Take advantage of this moment. Call, call, call. It says when you call, he will answer. Be sensitive as you call. Listen to him. He said he will show us. God is here to show us, not just to answer. Let your heart be engaged right now. Do it in faith. You can pray in your understanding, pray in the Holy Ghost, for he helps our infirmities in prayers. Now rise up on your feet, raise your voice, begin to thank God for hearing, for answering you. You have called, he has answered. Confidently thank him. Raise your hand if you can. Raise your voice and glorify the name of the Lord. Thank him in the Holy Ghost right now. Maroba ko sheketedia. La raba bala ya makoseta. Egada baraba ko ligata raya. Father, we thank you for answered prayers. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please take your seat. Put your hands together for the Lord. Please pay attention to this special announcement. Good news. As part of the ongoing season of revival, Domi Outreach Platform requires a team of volunteers within the church from Otter and the environment only. Interested members can access the enlistment form from Domi Outreach Office at Wobi Complex, Kenan Land, between Thursday and Friday or visit our website at www.davidoedipo.com. This platform is flexible. One can choose the days he or she is available and time, either for morning or evening outreach engagement. All one needs is a membership attestation that stems out of our cell or zonal platform. Opportunity also exists for those who may desire to volunteer with the Domi Outreach Team throughout the midst of the year revival season. Be blessed as you seek more ways to engage in this season of glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Interested individuals can call 0708-063-8000. Again, 0708-063-8000 for further inquiries. Jesus is Lord. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. In this service, it is offering time. I said it's offering time. If you have not done so, please quickly begin to package your worship offering. Remember, you can give using cash. You can give using checks, making them payable to Faith Tabernacle, Canaan Land, 
or you can give using any of the electronic giving channels that are now being displayed on the screen. As we do that, we are reminded of God's word from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 10. The word of God declares, He that ministers seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food and multiply your seed soon. Tonight, as you sow your seed, the multiplier God will multiply the seed soon. In the name of Jesus Christ. Would you rise on your feet with me right now? Lift up your seed before the Lord. Present it in honor of Jesus. Appreciating him, glorifying him, and honoring him for the privilege that he has given to you. To be a sower of seed tonight. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Father, thank you. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Keep your seed lifted. Father, tonight we have come bearing our seed in honor and worship of you. Let it be acceptable in your sight in the name of Jesus Christ. In accordance with your word, let every seed sown be multiplied in return. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. Please be seated comfortably. Cast your seed with joy as the praise team ministers.
wants the mark of the high calling. Hey, I'm pressing on to reach my goal. I'm pressing on to reach my privilege to be a partaker of this ongoing season of glory. If you believe your glory is in it, would you give him thanks? Please give him thanks and give him thanks and give him thanks. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. 
in the name of Jesus we have given thanks. Amen. That family testified and one statement caught fire and my spirit on it. I just want to thank God and appreciate this God for being true to his word and for showing us the light and causing us to remain in the light. It's not enough to have the light. It delivers by walking in the light. And to stay on there, walking in the light. I'm the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Walk where ye have the light, let it be turned to darkness. Grace to walk in the light that God is showing here, that's changing people's stories. 2022, they caught the fire, they began walking in that light. And everything turned in the family. Everything turned. Business 300% off. No health issues. My God. Everything. And they just vowed not to come to any service without bringing one new convert or one new challenge member. This is just 2023. There is no future in waiting for things to happen. Only those who take steps go forward. Nobody goes forward sitting down. Only those who take steps go forward. Only those who take steps go forward. Ray stopped my team from going out yesterday, my, the team that goes with me, and then we had to cover up today. Today is not part of it, but we had to cover up today. First place, we got 100 souls saved. 100 souls saved. Only those who... <laughs> Take steps, go forward. I've been walking that way since 76, unabated, unweary, untiring. Don't blame God for blessing me. Don't blame for blessing your neighbor. He's doing what you're not doing. You can't be doing what he's doing as contained in scriptures and not be enjoying what he's enjoying. My God. So over to you. Thank God for showing us the light and for causing us to walk in the light. Lift up your two hands. Jesus, engrace me to walk in the light that you are showing in this awesome season of glory so my life will not suffer any further shame all the days of my life. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray that prayer. It's not enough to have the light. It's important to walk in the light. It's important to walk in the light. It's important to walk in the light. It's not enough to have the light. It's not enough to assess the light. It's glorious to walk in the light. It's amazing to walk in the light. Rebullish Angredanos, Epalande, Tanklecona, Berizo, Elante, Alandro, Shigiano, Paladante. Pray, 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 pray like someone in revival. Lord, grace to walk in the light that we are showing. Revival time is, the, is a time of outbreak of light. God, help me. Not only to assess the light, but to keep walking in the light. Now, ask him to speak to you tonight, everybody. Ask him to speak to me tonight, Jesus. Speak to me tonight, Jesus. Speak to me tonight, Jesus. And do a new thing in my life. By your word tonight, in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Father, we are here again. All eyes are on you. You are the source of what you are looking for. In your light, we shall have light. So show us light tonight. He said, it is, the Lord, it is God who has shown us light. Show us light tonight in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And for everyone that is in partnership with you in this season, Lord, decorate them. According to your word, decorate them. Decorate them openly. Decorate them everywhere. Confirm your word, Lord, as you have always done. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please, you may be seated. No one.
one can be a full partaker of any move of the Spirit, as we're having it today in this church, without passion. 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 It is passion that makes a believer a partaker of every move of God. Passion. 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 His word was like fire in my bones and I could not stay. Passion. Passion. All the great men of exploits in scriptures were men of palpable passion. Christ could not deliver his, Christ delivered his messianic ministry on the platform of undying passion from the age of 12. He could not remember that the feast was over. He was in the midst of doctors and teachers, both hearing and asking them questions. And after three days, they found him in the temple. The feast was over, he wasn't aware. The zeal of the house of the Lord has consumed him, according to Psalm 69, verse 9. <laughs> and they found him after three days. He said, don't you know I should be about my father's business? Luke chapter 2, verse 47 to 49. Mm. And then we saw him invade at the temple in John 2, verse 13 to 17. Um, made some small calls and began to flush out all that are buying and selling. And then they remember that it is written, the zeal of thy house has consumed me. Peter came with unusual passion. You have labored all night to cut nothing. Somebody said, push your something. At what court? At what child? He didn't ask, how much are you going to pay? In his willingness, passion drove him to let Jesus into his boat and see what became of Peter today. My God. Now, follow me. You be now fishers of men. And he left his father and mother and everybody and followed him. Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 8 and verse 11. When every other disciple scattered, he stayed. I must see the end of this thing. Glory to God. Awesome, Jesus. Passion. God found Paul and Paul stepped in as one unusual being. His passion was stronger than death. For me to live is Christ to die is gain. This is laid upon me by me. And waste me if I preach the gospel, not by God. God doesn't listen to some people. Paul was a man of unusual passion. They made unusual marks. Unusual marks. So by the grace of God, I continue to this day witnessing to both great and small. As that great apostle, witnessing to both great and small. Acts 26, verse 22. Who shall separate me from the love of God as in Christ Jesus? In all this, my mother conquered. Life, death, nonsense. Because he possessed the order of passion that is stronger than death. Today, Paul said, after Jesus said, Paul said. Everything Jesus said, you must say, Paul said, before you can understand it. You should not bless him. And then come down to men that are not ministry or ministry related. <laughs> passion. 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 Give them their place in destiny. So everybody needs passion. Think of Joseph. You should have killed those your brethren. Who sold you into slavery? When you now have power to kill them and imprison them and terminate their lives. No. But I fear God. Passion. Daniel came forth. If we see you pray to any other God, you become to the end of life. The end of life, that's not an issue. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Passion. They couldn't find any error in him, sir. And they cannot find anything against him except against the law of his God. And yet, he was a public officer, he was a leader, he was a prime minister. Passion. Passion, not the ecological kind of Christianity. Passion. We are going to cast into fear the phone if you don't bow to this graven image. We are not careful to answer you. You don't know what's burning in us. <laughs> we are not careful. 
Do your words. We're not bow to your image. Passion. Give them their place in destiny. Everybody needs passion. And there's nothing mystical about passion. It's a product of one's undying love for God and the interest of his kingdom. And love is a choice. It's not a gift. Do you love me? Not are you gifted with love? No. Do you love me? Say, I love you, Lord. It's a choice to make. And according to scriptures, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, what God has in store for them that love him. Many more living wonders. There are many today in this church, worldwide. Many more living wonders will emerge in the course of this midst of the year. If you are one of them, let me hear your loudest amen. And current living wonders will begin to scale new heights in their supernatural life. Our teaching series for the midweek services is engaging the power of passion in stewardship. Why? Stewardship that is not built on a genuine love platform adds no value. Love motivated stewardship is what art color. Though I offer all my goods to feed the poor, and I even offer my body to be born, and have no charity, it profits me nothing. Though I understand all mysteries, and have no charity, and I have all faith so I can remove all mountains, nothing will move without love. That's why stewardship will remain futile if it's not love motivated. Every passionate believer is an ever self motivated individual in stewardship. You don't push them. <laughs> they are ever joyfully on the move. They don't wait to be gingered. Amen. They are self-gingered. I became all things to all men. So by all means, I can win some. I mean, nothing looks like an unusual demand on their life. They just choose to enjoy it. The love in them moves them into action. Why this love is seated in the heart? It imparts on the mind to engage your emotion. Amen. Let this mind be in you, which also was in Christ Jesus. The people had a mind to walk. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 6. So emotion is involved. Emotion is involved. It is passion that fuels our consistency and steadfastness in stewardship. As we saw in Paul the Apostle, as we saw in the three Hebrew boys, that God has needed their body not to serve any other God but their own God. Daniel, Shira, Meshach, and Abednego. I mean, is that God room thou? Servants of the Most High God come out of the fire. They were servants of God. Open servants, un unashamed servants of God. They have no hidden identity. Everybody knew where they belong. And they stay true in the face of death.
like we have always said here in the course of this teaching, but passion is not a gift. It's a decision steered by one's own reserved love for God and the interest of his kingdom. It's a decision you will make. You make. As steered up by your own reserved love for God and the interest of his kingdom. I will never give to man till I go to heaven anything that outweighs what I give to God. No. The man Elijah said, I've been very jealous. But no God of hosts. First Kings 19 and verse 10 and 14. You can be and not know. Now let's become more specific. What is passion? It can be defined as a product of one's own reserved law to see souls saved and established in the faith. God's core purpose for sending Christ to the world. He so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son, that we shall believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. To offer everlasting life is the major reason Jesus came, not to work miracles. We have seen all kinds of miracles. I mean, what do you want to see that you didn't see in the wilderness? Praise God. You went through the Red Sea on dry ground, and you were feeding twice a day without planting season or harvesting season. <laughs> My God. And you had no tent. You just stay there under the cloud. Have a nice time. Correct temperature. Day and night. Even their legs were not swollen. 40 years. Their garment didn't wear was sold on them. All kinds of things. There was not one feeble person among their tribes. 40 years. 40 years. What's a miracle? Jesus came as sent by the Father to redeem man from his sin. Anyone that partners with him on that task wins his favor without crying for it. You can't claim to love someone who don't love what he loves the most. No. Salvation of soul is God's greatest love on the earth today. When it's not part of your Christian faith, you are missing out on a big point. There are three forces that rule the adventure of man on the earth. Faith, vision, and love. But the greatest, the overriding one, is love. Living without genuine passion is like a car without foil. You can't get that car into motion no matter how much you push. No matter how much you push. There are those living on this campus who don't even know that Jesus exists. Yet they are not blind. Though. But they can't, they can't feel it. Maybe they're living with someone, maybe they just came, or maybe they're just here on their own, and they don't know anything is going on. <laughs> People are skyrocketing. People are taking flights into space. They are not aware. Why? No heart for God. You can't be missing in the race of life with a heart for God. I have found David, my servant, a man with a heart for me. And 
I'm going to decorate him, and he did. From the age of 17, he was a trailblazer. He was a national hero. May God find you. May God find you. Amen. For the eyes of the Lord running run to and fro in order to show himself to whosoever his heart is perfect towards him. Second Chronicles 16.9 God is all over the earth to show himself strong in behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. Whose heart is perfect towards him. He, he, so nobody knows the heart of man like God. He will find many more among us this season. And he will find you. He will find you. He will find you. No get crashing into God's blessing. There are, there are defined steps to take to assess his provisions. A heart for God is one capital step to take into God's blessings. I believe from scriptures and from experience, one must be passionate in the pursuit of God and the interest of his kingdom to make the most of his life. It's the jackpot of life. Until you are set for it, the struggle continues. Until you are set for it, the struggle continues. I still sleep like a baby. I've not suffered one sleepless night on this ministry in my life. I'm not the one carrying it. Give me your heart. Not carry my luggage. Give me your heart. Leave the rest to me. Your days of struggle must end this time. Your days of struggles must end this time. Romans 8.28 For we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. How many things? <laughs> and to them that are called according to his purpose. All things. Matthew 6, 33. Wherever a man's heart is, from verse 21, there is treasure will be also. You want me to know where your heart is? Let me see where you're investing the best of your energy, time, and resources. I can tell where your heart is. <laughs> you see a drunkard, you can tell where his heart is. He has a joint that he must report to. Even when he's sneezing, he must go there. If he's going to the hospital, we'll brand there first. That's where his heart is. He's attached to it. All those folks in the joint, they don't have money, but they must go there to that joint every day and borrow from the other people. You smoke small, you let me smoke small. They, they just must be there. That's where their heart is. And the good news is, you cannot be passionate for God and the interest of his kingdom and not know. <laughs> God knows who is passionate. You will know. <laughs> Elijah said, I've been very jealous of the Lord. And I can say with all sincerity and intentionality, God knows, the devil knows, all the agents of the devil know, I am very jealous for God. I've not seen a force under heaven that will make me think of denying him. No. Death, I've overcome that severally. <laughs> and you can't kill a believer. He just transcends to glory. What's the matter? You better yield because the hour of temptation is coming to visit the entire world. You don't know where you belong. You will find yourself in a shrine before you know it. Neporos Canada. But many waters can quench love. 
The sea cannot drown it. So yield your heart back to God. And you'll be free. Now I got something in my study and it's so illustrative. Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 2. These mockers were saying something, and I'm sure it was the Holy Ghost that inspired them. And he spoke before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, What do these feeble, what do these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are born? So the episode of Nehemiah was an illustration of a revival. It's a picture of the demands of a revival and the outcome of the same. There is no one that genuinely engages with this move who will not experience a change of story. It will be beyond what your skill and strength can ever attain to if you will stay true to it. So it's a clear illustration, just like Ezekiel 37, from the garden of the valley of nothingness, there arose a mighty host unto God. Everything that looks like nothing today will become the envy of the world around us Amen. as you choose to engage. Amen. How did they get these walls built? One, they had the mind to walk. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 6. They possessed the required passion to drive that agenda. And we understand from scriptures that revival is spiritual labor time. Spiritual labor. Spiritual labor. Second Chronicles 15, 3 to 7. And verse 7 in particular. God opened up that agenda through the prophet and he said, now for a long season, he said, go to verse 7 please. Verse 7, we all know the story. But you see the labor element. Be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. God was ushering in a revival to the land, and he calls it work. So it's not form, it's work. Haggai chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. Who among you saw the glory of this house in its first uh, glory? And how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing? Now, yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, saith the Lord, and be strong, O Joshua, son of Joseph the high priest, and be strong, all ye people of the land, saith the Lord, and walk. I want to change your glory level, but walk and walk, said the Lord, for I am with you and walk. My presence won't do it. You will need to walk. You walk out your salvation. It's knocking on your door. Here is your season of glory. Are you set for it? He said, yes. Walk the walk I've instructed you to walk. And then you see my glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. Prayer was a key factor in the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem. So it is with every revival. We saw Nehemiah chapter 1, Nehemiah chapter 2, Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 7 to 9. Nevertheless, we made our prayers unto God. Nehemiah prayed that revival into happening. And they had to pray again to sustain that revival. Nevertheless, in spite of the mockery, we made our prayer unto God. We refused to be afraid and set watch against them day and night because of them. See, they are night challenge. Praise God. Amen. And we saw in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, they gathered together, 120 of them, in one accord in prayers. 
chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, the Holy Ghost fed as they were praying. Praise God. And then Acts chapter 3, verse 1, they went to interpret the hour of prayer. The apostles were in the Solomon's porch praying. And things began to happen. Revival was ushered in by prayer and sustained by prayer. So prayer is not a subsidiary. It's a major factor in maximizing the blessing of the revival. So when you are in the prayer altar, you are on the prayer read in the morning, in the evening, as enabled all of our aged people who so are not left out. Because when the Holy Ghost came, it fell upon all men. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Upon the handmaidens, how help, how help. Will I put my spirit in that day? So everybody is involved in a revival. Everybody is involved in a revival. We will give ourselves wholly to prayer and to means of the world. And then revival fire began to burn. So you can't leave prayer out to maximize the blessings of a revival. Also, we saw in the building of the world that families were involved or got involved in the rebuilding of the broken walls. And so it is with revival. Nehemiah 4, 14. Families were there. As chapter 2, verse 46. In every home, everywhere, you'll find them praying. Romans 16, 5, the church in your house. Philippians, uh, Philemon 1, 2, the church in thy house. And Acts 12, 5, we saw in the house of Mary, prayer was made without ceasing to rescue Peter from the prison. In every house, in every house. So this revival must have a hold in your family. There must be a place for it in your family. Come on, let me hear your loudest amen. amen. We also saw that half were on the job. Why the other half were holding weapons? On the job connotes the full soldiers on the field. Holding the weapons are those on the prayer altar. It's so illustrative, sir. To keep off the enemy from interfering. And we all know the story. 52 days, the job was done. We are going to see wonders. We are going to see wonders. We are going to see wonders. That's Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 16 and verse 21. And then you find out in Acts chapter 6, they divided the labor. You'll be in charge of this and we'll be in charge of this. Our job is to pray, give us a will to prayer, and to the minister of the world, your job is to do the administration. Go ahead and, and do it. That's how that revival was sustained. Otherwise, it will have gone. We pray to see souls saved. We pray to see them established. Galatians 4, verse 19. My children for whom I traveled in bath again until Christ be formed in thee. We traveled to bring them into the kingdom. We traveled to keep them in the kingdom. Praise God. There is one that waters, another one planted. And God brings the increase. So there's the planting, there's the watering. Praise God. We go forth sowing the seed of the gospel. And then they keep watering it on the prayer altar. And God brings the increase. Everyone shall be rewarded according to his own, work, according to his own labor. 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 6 to 8. Leaders of the people were brought on board because wherever leaders go, there the followers go. So may your life not mislead anybody else. May you not be, may you not freeze the zeal of anyone. Are you going out again? Why, why now? Why now? Are you the only one? What's your problem? He has his life to live. He has his life to live. He has his life to live. They mocked us gruesomely, but we triumphed gloriously. They mocked us gruesomely. I want my own, Nishel. One, Nishel. What is we say? We say, did you say we are lost? She eh? They were mocking us. God was busy making us. The mockery of yesterday has turned to the glory of today. Let, don't stop the way of anybody going there. Oh. If any man caused any of this one to, to fail or fall, it's better that it's not born. So don't be a discourager. If you're not in the move, get out of the move. Get out of the move. Between going passionately after God and going passionately after drugs, what do you take? Your son is driving after God and you are concerned. What's your problem? I pray something will happen positive in everyone's life. So the leadership has a Role to play to keep this thing going. Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 16. 
the nobles were behind them. They were pushing. They were pushing. As chapter 16, the leaders sent decrees to keep. And then the church was establishing the faith and increasing number daily. Acts 16 and verse 4 to 5. Now, so demanding, some were walking with one hand and holding the spear with the other. Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 17. So there are many in this season who are both fervent in prayer and passionate in going. You so sparingly, you live you so bountifully. As enabled by God, you live bountifully. Even builders on the wall had their spears tied to their side, ready for battle. Praise God. As you are laying the block, your spear is here. You show up, I cut your head. Simple. Battle fit people. May God turn every one of us to a battle axe Amen. where we are not moved by anybody's opinion against the move of God in our lives. You stay true to it. You stay focused. You find it. Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 18. They were charged to respond to the sound of the trumpet that is taking instructions from time to time as they come up. Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 19. The rebuilding of the wall was a day and night task. Nehemiah 4, 22. A day and night task. The good news is engaging in a revival has two levels of outcome. And these levels are undeniable. One, eradication of shame and reproach. He that winner souls is wise. And the wise shall inherit glory. Proverbs 11, 30 and Proverbs 3 and 35. You serve God. He said, you shall serve and he shall bless. And he will take something away from the midst of you. That family said they have never known sickness or go to any hospital. They just take communion and they keep bouncing around because they are busy serving. There shall not be barren. Between these two months, everybody called barren under any kind of complication will come out triumphantly. Yeah. Shall be confirmed pregnant before the season is over. Yeah. As you engage with Jesus genuinely and with your heart. And the number of your days are fulfilled. As the law lives, everyone that succeeds in this or active partnership with Jesus, the seal of a good old age will be established upon you and your household. Yeah. And the number of your days I will fulfill. You say, what does that mean? With long life will I satisfy you and I will show you my salvation. When are you satisfied is the question. When are you ready to come over? Oh, I'm not ready now. <laughs> I'm still busy serving the Lord. I'm not ready now. That's the wonder of it. Therefore, this scourge of untimely death is caused from the roots in your household. That's one level. The second level is turning many to righteousness. We make a forever star out of any ordinary believer. Turning many, turning many to righteousness. Daniel 12 3, they that be wise shall shine as the brand of the famine, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. As the stars forever and ever. As the stars forever. Generational stars, that's the meaning. 
Stars that don't die, that's what it means. Stars that keep speaking from death. Though he were dead, yet speaketh. There are many like that in the kingdom. Gone long ago, they are still speaking now. They are speaking now. Their life is still speaking volumes. More than men that are living. One call me behind, behind that is a commitment to see many souls flocking into the kingdom. This is a win. least many of us in that realm. In the name of Jesus. Serving God in truth and in deed. We always change the story of man supernaturally. Always. And so Nehemiah became a captain. He, that was not his dream. His dream was to eradicate the shame out of Jerusalem. And God made him a governor on his own in return for his active partnership on the things that concern God. Everything turned for that land. In closing, we have these two examples that we have been looking at. Elijah was a passion made prophet to the nations. And we saw that demonstrated in 1 Kings chapter 18, 23 to 39. He prayed fire down and brought the worship of Baal to an end in one day. They came for his arrest. If I be a man of God, therefore I come down from heaven and consume you and write on the spot. They were gone. Second Kings 1. 9 to 12. Gideon was there bemoaning the assault on the land. And God said, Thou mighty man of valor. What gave him that place? His passion for God and the things of God turned a mighty man of valor out of a weakling. He blew the trumpet and the whole of Judah gathered. One man, no microphone. What kind of problem? Unusual might came on him as a result of his genuine passion for God. As I close, my son, God says, give me your heart. And watch what I do with your life. Proverbs 23, 26. My son, give me your heart. And watch how I decorate your life. For eyes have not seen, no ears have. What I have in stock for those with a heart for me. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. What I have in stock. For all those with a heart for me. May you be listed among his true lovers. Amen. Let us therefore not love in word nor in tongue, but in truth and in deed. First John 3 18. But in truth and in deed. These people draw near me with their mouth, but their heart is far from me. Isaiah 29 and verse 13. So it's not about just going around and joining the group is your heart there and he knows whether your heart is there or not and you should know whether your heart is there or not nobody else can no anointed prophet can know whether your heart is there or not he has no access to your heart I the Lord alone I search the heart and I try the reins to relate with everyone according to what I found there so God knows where your heart is you also know where your heart is so let's be true there was this institution that had this uh, motto to thyself be true to thyself be true many are not true to themselves to thyself be true after hearing all this now they are going to visit one man again uh, this same night after this message 
This why you come late. We, we, we have, the message was long today. Kneel down. You are two steps to death. After hearing the good news, he goes to collect the bad news. So he's a confused man. I've not added one thing to Jesus that I met him. Not one. I've never entered any place ever in Yehu. No. He knows where your heart is. He knows when you are oscillating and when you are settled. He knows. He knows. You can't stay true with a heart for God and not experience his hand on your life. For my eyes run to and fro in all the earth to show myself strong in the behalf of them whose hearts are perfect towards me. You are the one God is talking about. Amen. You are the one God is talking about. Amen. I've said before the Lord, and I've said it to the people of God, whatever my God cannot do, let it remain undone. I'm not looking for nothing. No. He said, when did that start? From the beginning. I'm not looking for nothing. Wherever my God cannot take me to, may I never get there. He's set to. The devil knows he's set to. <laughs> God knows he's set to. And I know, I know in me he's set to. Whatever God cannot give me, may I never have it. Keep it. I don't need it. Whatever will hurt me, don't give me. I said to him, wherever you take me to, your, your hand cannot reach me, don't take me there. You better settle until you settle with God. I can't settle your life. Settle with God in true love, in genuine love. This is what God is saying now. In the multitude of people is the king's honor. I think that honors me, I will honor. So the glory is not for free. There's, you must take certain steps. Proverbs 14, 28, and then 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 30. He that honors me, I will honor. And I am looking for multitude. You are a part of bringing multitude. You secure my honor. And when I honor you, no devil can dishonor you. Sir, when God honors you, forget about the devil. <laughs> he stretches his hand to bless you. He says, I will bless them that bless you and him that causes you, I will cause. So you don't have enemies. Just come under his blessing and leave your enemies to him. He will deal with them. Leave your enemies with him, he will deal with them. Leave your enemies with him, he will deal with them. Your days of struggles are over. Yeah. And this season will change your story forever. Yeah. Lift up your right hand and give God thanks. If you caught any word tonight, give God thanks. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Give him thanks like someone in revival. Lord, I'm giving you my heart. I give you my soul. Thank you, Jesus. Engrace me to walk in the light you are showing me. Let this access not stop with access. Engrace me to walk in the light, to continue in the light. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Now, give the Lord a big hand of praise. <laughs> Amen. You know, if they beat a child that is born and is not crying, and they beat and beat, he doesn't Wake up. They bury him. Wake up. <laughs> you are in for the best of time in your life. Wake up. We, we are not doing it for anybody. Else. No. It's you. You. You are not doing it for nobody. It's you. When you take your mind from, I'm doing it for the church, I'm doing it for the pastor, you won't do anything. No. No. It's your turn. Now, there are people here tonight who are not born again yet. Only the living can serve. Only the living can be passionate. Only the living know the meaning of love. So you are here tonight, you want to give your life to Christ and have this life that qualifies you to engage with God. I'd like to pray with you. Wherever you may be, across our various donor fellowship centers where you are hooked onto this service, and around the world where you might be with your device, and you are in this service, you want to have this new life. Whosoever has the Son of God has life. Whosoever has not the Son of God has not life. First John 5, 11 and 12. You want to have this life and have a brand new beginning in your life. Wherever you are, stand to your feet and I'll pray with you. Before we start the communion tonight, God bless you. Jesus, save my soul. Wherever you are, stand to your feet. 
Jesus, save my soul tonight. God bless you. God bless you. Wherever you are, stand to your feet right now and connect with the source of eternal life and watch how God will start a new thing in your life. God bless you. Many more are standing up wherever you are. Get up on your feet. <laughs> Secondly, there are people that are just in the middle of the road. Not cold, not hot. He said, I will spoil you out of my mouth. You want to dedicate your life to Christ and come on the mainstream of life. One leg in, one leg out won't help you. A dog minded person is so in all his ways. Let him not think he will receive anything from God. You want to dedicate your life to Christ in truth and in deed. I've seen many people running up and down. Nothing is happening, nothing is being added to them. There, there is no life. You don't add anything to the dead. No. So you are here, you want to dedicate your life and have a meaningful lifestyle on earth. Stand to your feet. I want to dedicate my life to God, to Christ tonight. Stand to your feet. I want to dedicate my life to Christ tonight. Stand to your feet. I want to dedicate my life to Christ tonight. Stand to your feet. Everybody standing for either of the two calls, please make your way down here. And all the fellowship centers, please move towards the altar area. The pastors are waiting. Come and come and come with speed. They are coming. You can still stand in case you didn't stand the first time when I made that call. You can stand. There is room for you for a brand new beginning. There is room for you for a brand new beginning. There is room for you for a brand new beginning. Many more standing up. Can you sing this song? Lord, I give you my life. I give you my soul. Praise God. Lord, I give you my life. I give you my I'm here to record the first regret following Jesus. My prayer today is that you're not just standing out here. The grace that brought you out will keep you for life. Amen. All that are standing across board, across our various general fellowship centers and around the world, lift up your right hand where you are right now and pray this simple prayer of faith after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I repent of my sins today and I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Forgive me all my sins and wash me with your blood. Come into my heart, Jesus, and begin to walk your walk in me. Make me a new creature. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul.
and desire the Jesus order of passion from this communion table today. Desire the Jesus order of passion. We are empowered to live like Jesus through the mystery of the communion table. Desire that order of passion. To stay true in your love for God and the interest of his kingdom. Let us see what state your positions right now. Pray that prayer, please. Pray from the depth of your heart. Jesus, I desire the infusion of your order of passion in my life today. Pray that prayer. I give you my heart, I give you my soul. I'll live for you alone. Come on now. Prophesy that to your life. Prophesy that to your life and watch how it will begin to decorate your life in every area. Now make every other demand you have. You want healing? You want deliverance? You want answers to definite questions? Jesus has all the answers. As you partake of this communion, he will give you inspiration. You know where the answer is. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Now, we receive this table tonight as the flesh and the blood of Jesus. And as we partake of it by faith, we buy into the Jesus order of passion Amen. in our kingdom advancement engagement. Amen. No weariness. Amen. No fainting. Amen. No giving up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that all through this season of glory, no one shall back out. Amen. I pray that each one's zeal will keep burning hotter by the day. Now, I curse every hold of the wicked on any life. As you partake of this communion tonight, I decree that every mark of the wicked clears off everyone's life. Every sickness is caused from the roots. Every oppression of the devil is terminated. You're walking out of this place as a free man and a free woman. In the name of Jesus. May your package for this season not be taken by another man. May your crown is up for this season not be taken by another man. And so shall it be. We receive this tonight as the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Everyone partaking of this by faith, you partake of the Jesus order of passion, the Jesus order of love, and driving this kingdom advancement season in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Be visited this night for your desired turnaround. Before this week is over, you are singing a new song. In Jesus' name. Please get seated and you take your turn as you will be directed. Praise God. Let's have the praise team now.
Bermuda, we will be there. Going up to souls, we will be there. When the saints, when the saints go marching, Lord, I want to be. When the saints, oh, we will be there. We will be there. On the other's field, on the altar prayer, going up to souls, we will you be there. Really, will you be there? Will you, will you be there? Will you be there? When the saints go marching in, Lord, I want to be in the number. Yes, Lord. Oh, say, oh, when the saints go where the crown, so when the saints. Everybody go, tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere. So go, tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Everybody go, 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 go. Tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere. You need to go. Jesus Christ is Lord. Put those things together. Everybody, you need to go, go. Go tell it now. Somebody go tell it now. And everywhere. Go tell it. Dead of Jesus. Somebody, we need to go. From the east and the ways everywhere. Give the Lord the biggest hand of praise, everyone. And lift up your two hands and give him thanks for the encounter tonight, if you had one, and I'm sure you do. Give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus, for shedding light on my heart tonight and for granting me grace to walk in that light. I thank you, Jesus. My heart is all out for you. My soul is all out for you. I'm for you all my life, and I thank you for confirming your word in my life. In Jesus' precious name. The Bible says, put on the whole armor of God. Not leave them behind at home. Put them on. So when you are going out, anoint yourself. Did you hear that? I'm praying in tongues to arrest every contact we meet. And pray for utterance. You put on the whole armor. Not leave behind at home. Put it on. Put on the whole armor. Anoint yourself. I'm doing it to experience breakthrough in my engagement and it's happening everywhere so anoint yourself no evil will touch you anoint yourself no door will be shut against you anoint yourself anyone you invite will obey anyone you speak to will bow in the name of jesus and pray in tongues clear the obstacle that you may not know that may exist in any of those places and you have a thorough fear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, like that family, make sure that there is no barren week in your life throughout this season. Pray the target you have to the point of conviction and conversion. We bat so into the kingdom both on the prayer altar and in going out. So everybody has an input in saying so saved. Engage this opportunity and watch what will come out of it. You'll be receiving supernatural appointments that you never, never thought of. God will be changing your story without begging him to do it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Again, we have our flyers. 
the covenant day of all round. The world is so restless. Jesus is the source of genuine rest. He said, come unto me, all ye that are restless. I will give you rest. Come and learn of me. So you can know what it takes to have rest for your souls. This coming Sunday, every restless soul that come in here shall find divine rest. Pray and ask the Lord. Lord, let this flyer be turned to a spiritual magnet, drafting people out of their restless realm of life into your rest. Finally, Jesus grant rest to families, grant rest in the health of your people, grant rest in the life of every soul that we are appear in church this coming Sunday in the name of Jesus. And thank you for this. In Jesus' precious name. Congratulations. We shall be visited on Sunday in a manner we have never known before. Lift up your two hands, everyone, and give God thanks. Lift your hands and give thanks to God tonight. Appreciate him. Celebrate him. Glorify him. Honor him. Is worthy of praise. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Make sure your voice is being registered before the Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Thank you and thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. amen. It is done. Amen. Let's share the goodness together, surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Praise the Lord. And finally, on the covenant highways of life. Congratulations, amen and amen. Congratulate somebody as you go, be blessed as you do. Pick up the flowers you need and use them to advertise Jesus. <laughs>